Welcome back. Always a new project. So this is the bucket, the dark bucket for the uh, case. It's still with the uh, pin attachment uh, since I've uh, converted the case to uh, skid steer quick attach. I have to convert the bucket. So last year I modified this, uh, the uh, pin position to make sure that I have the uh, full curl uh, to dump. to do I have to remove this 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 so basically it's maybe easier to make a new bucket than removing all of this unless that I simply cut one inch away from this so that I cut the wall back of the bucket and put a new flat plate and start the uh, skid steer quick attach. So basically this is what I will be doing because trying to unweld this uh, is going to be, be very long. Some may suggest that I have a plasma cutter but the fact is this plate is quite short to have a skid steer quick attach system on it. So this plate is a template for the skid steer quick attach so basically this is the top hook and the bottom plate on which it uh, the bottom plate there and as you can see this plate is way smaller than the surface in need so if I move this one inch and a half further this way then I'm going to get more room to do it I'm going to show you that Okay, as you can see, the bucket is on its side. All the hooks and the like. Okay, the idea is to cut an inch and a half inside. Continue the cut like this. Down to the bottom. and do the same thing on the other side so I'm going to get a very flat bottom I'm going to use that plate at the back 3 16 of an inch thick and this is the uh, template for the skid steer quick attach and one I'm going to have it cut like this so I'm going to have it's going to match at the top and bottom so I'm going to be able to uh, have some uh, attachment made easier next thing to do is to cut this out that would be uh, maybe a half hour job with the cutting, uh, cutting this and at the moment of uh, shooting this video, I just saw the video from Dave, which was uh, using his backhoe and, and charts, and asked me uh, why don't you work in charts? So, um, uh, <laughs> uh, Joe, <laughs> here I am in short, so uh, it's kind of a challenge for you. Do a video yourself with a short. No, that's not appropriate to work in shorts and <laughs> with all the uh, sparks and the and yet it's quite warm. It's almost 77 Fahrenheit. Oops, like this, 78 percent moisture.
At this point, I need to clamp the top on, and it will not be able to. Uh, it will not be possible to clamp this all at the same time. So what I will do is uh, this corner is satisfactory for me. I'm going to make a small tack weld. I'm going to pull this one to tack weld this one. After that, I'll be able to clamp this down because uh, each every time I try to uh, set this at the right position, there's something moving. So I've got this small gap here. Each time I pull the uh, this part, the sheet is moving. Okay, this. Pull this and weld this. 